Hello, Cancers. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your weekly love reading. If you enjoy this reading, please be sure to hit the like button and just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of underneath this video so that any future videos I post will come up on your YouTube feed, okay? If this does not resonate with you, Cancer, please be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. Um, you know, you could check into those videos too that might uh, resonate with you a little bit better. These are general readings. They're not meant to click with everybody, okay? Guys, this is the Harmonious deck. Um, I keep getting a lot of requests from what decks I use. I have a lot of them. I, keep, I, I don't know why I collect a lot. I just love them. But I'll be sure to post it in the description box below also, okay? So, so far here we have Fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius Aries Energy. We have... Um, air here we've got uh gemini libra aquarius energy we've got cancer scorpio pisces virgo uh virgo capricorn taurus energy Cancer. All right, so the underlying energy of this deck, Cancer, is going to be the Three of Swords. We have some secrets coming out, Cancer. Uh oh. All right, something's going to come out here. We have some truths being revealed this week. So here we have the Judgment card. Okay, um, the judgment card is second chances. It's the past. Okay, and it is being clarified by the two of cups, the two of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So um, I think you're going to find out something, you know, really big or, or, you know, Cancer, this could also mean this is your energy. So this could also mean that you have a fear that something's happening behind your back. I mean, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty in a second here, but I just want you to know that it doesn't always mean that something can be happening. I am a Cancer, and sometimes I know that I'm in my head a little bit, and I have a fear that things are happening, okay? So because here, I mean, I see second chances, and I see reconciliation. So if something does come out, okay, um, or maybe, you know, because you've been hurt in the past, maybe because you've been hurt in the past, you know, you're you're worried about something coming out but so far i mean what it's showing me here cancer is that something is going to come out you know there's going to be reconciliation and um you know this is the two of cups here is a beautiful card soulmate connection deeper you know deeper commitment um reconciliation i mean it's just two beautiful cards here you know so something's going to happen cancer and uh yeah, see, something's definitely going to happen because we have the Nine of Wands here, which again, Fire Energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo Energy, and it is being clarified by the Six of Wands. So this tells me that, you know, don't give up. You're almost there. You're almost where you want to be, wherever that is. We're going to figure that out now. You're almost where you want to be, um, but you're going to have victory when you get there. Well, whatever point you're trying to make towards your person, um, you know, maybe you found something out and some things really, really need to change, okay? Um, and maybe you just don't think that that's going to happen, but this person loves you, Cancer, or this could be vice versa. This person definitely loves you. I mean, this is soulmate energy here, and it's telling you not to give up on this person because you will be victorious with them they are gonna you know change for you or whatever's happening or if there's another person here they are gonna let them go and choose you so we have the six of swords here okay so the six of swords is you know you feel tired cancer you feel tired and you want to move on to more peaceful waters you know with this person or without this person um this obviously you know this three of swords here obviously took its toll on you okay but but this is being clarified by the Ten of Cups. So you have, you end this, again, you've got the Six of Wands here and the Ten of Cups together. You are going to have such victory, Cancer. I cannot even express to you how much victory you are going to have. 
okay um, I mean this is this is you get you get the girl you get the guy you have children you get the house you get everything financials I mean this is everything here okay so you may feel like you just want to hop on a boat and go into more peaceful waters you know what I'm saying but ultimately I mean just stick with it this is why it's telling you not to give up I mean if we look at these cards going across here okay we've got second chances don't give up um, you know, you wanting to leave to go to more peaceful waters. And then the next set of cards here is the Two of Swords. It means that you just want to close yourself off from the fighting. You just don't want to deal with this anymore, okay? You don't want to deal with the arguing anymore. And this is being clarified by the world, which tells me that you're going to be cutting off this entire situation. Whatever came to light here, whatever came to light here. And look at this. Right underneath the Three of Swords is the Three of Pentacles is the three of pentacles okay definite third party situation here there's not even an issue i mean we definitely we found something out somebody that there was something else involved um okay so but this is going to end your person is going to i think end it with this person and i do believe that they're going to choose you and i will tell you why because you've got the two of cups here you have victory you have the ten of cups here you have the world here something's going to end something new is going to begin and underneath this card here you have the four of wands okay the four of wands is soulmate energy it's victory after success and under this we have the wheel things are going to start changing in your favor cancer i mean you have some really beautiful cards here really beautiful cards here but not without a little bit of pain cancer because again we have second chances here the nine of wands the six of swords so there's going to be some uh, there's going to be some issues here i mean look that does not look like a pleasant card you know what i'm saying there's going to be some pain here but you are going to come out on top now again here we have the judgment card with the eight of pentacles uh, clarifying it. So that means that, you know, there, there can be second chances, but either you or your person is going to have to put in some serious work to make this happen. Okay. Um, the relationship does need work. It's going to need some healing. Now the nine of pentacles is being clear. I'm sorry. The nine of wands is being clarified by the 10 of pentacles. So here we have Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Here we have Capricorn, Virgo, um, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, excuse me. So what I feel this is telling us here is don't give up because, I mean, this is like your wish fulfillment. This is a 10. I mean, this, this is going to be financial gain, love gain, success. I mean, every time I said 10s are like the cap of, of all of everything, you know what I'm saying? And you have two 10s here. you got the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. So, I mean, this is going to be, you know, this person that you end up with, it's going to be money. It's going to be love. It's going to be success. It's going to be soulmate energy. It's going to be, I mean, you know, you've got wands here, which is a lot of fire and passion. Um, I mean, this is going to be your everything. So don't give up cancer. Okay. Don't get in that boat and leave because look at this. We have the six of swords, which is you wanting to just take off and go into more peaceful waters being clarified by the Hierophant. Don't leave because this is your soulmate. This is a marriage connection here. This is this is your future hubby or, or future wifey here. Do not get in that boat and go. Do not give up. Do not, you know, do not do not cut yourself off from this person. Okay? Now they're gonna come here. They're coming in on this horse with sword held tie. I mean their their truth is coming out. They're they're rushing towards you. Um you might try to cut them off. You know, you're going to try to cut them off because you're hurt. You know, you're really hurt, Cancer. Okay? You're really hurt. But if we read this, I mean, it's beautiful the way the spread kind of came out. Because if we read this, I mean, here we have all the pain happening. And then here we have all the reconciliation happening. And it leads right up to the world. Okay? So the Two of Cups is being clarified by the five of cups okay so this is your soulmate this is reconciliation this is this is um you know deeper commitment happening and it's happening because you love this person you know what i'm saying you found out about this third party situation cancer and it broke your heart okay or this can be vice versa okay but it really broke your heart it puts you in your head i mean you're sitting there thinking why is this happening it's this is like suddenly having to leave a home or a relationship you know it, it really did break your heart you're not focusing on you know other stuff up here you're focusing on what you've lost here and you've lost someone that you really considered a soulmate okay and that's why they do get a second chance because you feel like this is your soulmate now here we have the six of wands okay which is the victory being clarified by the hermit 
okay? So even though we have victory coming in, okay, even though we have victory coming in, you're still going to feel hurt by this cancer. We all know I'm a cancer son, okay, so I get it. Um, you know, you're not going to let this pain go easily. It's going to sit inside of you for a little while, okay? Um, it is going to fester inside you for a little bit, but you are going to be victorious though. Okay, you are going to come out of this on top. I do believe, you know, he he or she is going to choose you. We have the marriage card. We've got the soulmate card. We've got the wheel of fortune, okay? But there is someone else, Cancer. There is someone else, and uh, and it's it looks like it's going to be coming out soon, okay? So we have the Ten of Cups here being clarified by the sun. Okay, so again, growth and recovery. Um, when you guys, you know, make up and everything comes to a fruition and everything starts going your way, you're going to start growing and recovering from this because like I said, you're hurt, Cancer. You're hurt. And this is, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Cups. Okay? You're hurt. You're hurt. And the world is being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Okay? This is being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, again, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be sad. You're going to be sad, Cancer, because even though everything comes to um, fruition, you know, even though everything comes to fruition, you're still going to have a little bit of pain under there, okay? You're still going to have a little bit of pain under there. But it is going to, you know, it is going to balance out, Cancer. It is going to balance out because you have a lot of growth, recovery. You have the world here. Um... I mean, you have a lot, you have a lot going here, Cancer. You have a lot going for you. You have a lot of growth, recovery. It is going to be a little bit of a bumpy road. It is going to be a little bit of a bumpy road. See here you have the strength card. Look, the strength card. So you're going to gain strength and growth from this. And here we have, look, the Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. Okay. So let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. Wow, all right, so two cards popped out. So we have, again, the Four of Pentacles is being clarified by the Ten of Cups Cancer. This could not end any better for you. I mean, we're talking love, money, soulmate connection, kids, beautiful house. I mean, everything. Uh, you got the Ten. You got the Ten of Cups twice. You have the Ten of Cups twice here, Cancer. This. I mean, it can't. You can't ask for a better ending here, okay? And we also have um, the King of Cups, which I like to call him Mr. Hubby. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So you end up with the man or the woman. You end up with your king or your queen. I mean, this is marriage. Um, and let's keep in mind here that Cups is going to be somebody who's very emotional, so emotional that they're almost um, distant sometimes. And look at this Cancer underneath this deck, the world, the world. I mean, this cannot end any better for you. I do feel that, you know, I do feel that there's going to be, you know, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt, Cancer. Something's going to come out. You're going to get hurt. But um, we definitely have a happy ending here. I mean, this is definitely your person. And you're going to, you're not going to give up. You're going to stick with it because you feel the soulmate connection there. You may end up asking yourself a hundred times, like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but, um, you know, the reason why is that, you, you know, you have, you got the lover's card there. You got the, excuse me, that's the lover's card, the two of cups there. Um, you got the four of wands, you've got the world. I mean, this is, this person is your person, okay? And I mean, with the ten of cups twice, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, that's just like happily ever after twice, two times, twice, you know, I mean, you really just can't ask for anything better than that. But, you know, there is someone else, so we're just going to have to deal with that situation. Maybe the relationship is kind of new and this person is a little confused, but... Yeah, conciliation. Trust, reconciliation.
Okay, Cancer. So here we have reconciliation. I told you, you guys are going to be getting back together. I mean, definitely, because you love them. Someone from your past is returning into your life. All right? Now, we have trust. The question here is, this situation is calling for you to have faith. You know, can you trust them again? Can You know, I know this could be on your part, their part. Can you trust them again? I have a feeling like this person may be a little immature. Your person may be a little bit immature, um, you know a little bit immature, okay? But you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, honestly, discuss your feelings with, you, with each other because I do feel like there's a lot of feelings there, Cancer. Um, I just noticed here as I looked over, we have another Three of Cups here, okay? Another Three of Cups here. You have had all three, I mean, like, there's definitely another person. There's definitely another person, but they are gonna choose you. And then under here, we have the, the lovers. Okay, we have the lovers. So I mean, you've got beautiful cards, beautiful cards, but there, this this person is standing in the way. I really want to like clarify this more because I'm so curious and I'm a Cancer myself, but I can't. We just were kind of cut for time. I'm sorry, Cancer, but um, it is a beautiful ending. That much I can promise you. Okay, um, take care and please be sure to like the button if you like this um, this reading and click on subscribe. Thank you so much, Cancers.